starting this one off a little bit different, here's the final piece if you want to see why I made this stick around. I passed this Gameworks Arcade, sorry, Sports Grill, when I went to see Mary and the Witch's Flower last week. But, you know, not everything is fun to do alone, so I invited Kaylee to come with me. Turns out she is a seasoned arcade pro and immediately escorted me to her favorite game, which I only recognized because it's in a Steven Universe episode. This style is called an isometric room. It's basically just a room with equal proportions. So nearly an isometric room. And I found a rhythm game, which we were at. I continued my ineptitude by losing at air hockey. In a bridge version, Kaylee got the first shot, tried to kill me with the puck. I finally gained a point, but was eventually defeated. So I had a great time. I wanted to try something a little different this week with my art since I'm trying really hard to do more things I wouldn't normally try. Drawing and painting environments, for example, as well as using only or mainly watercolor. I wanted to reflect the bright, fun colors of the arcade as a whole, as well as some sort of incorporated elements from the day. Like ski ball, where every time Kaylee threw her ball, it would try to attack her through the glass. So trying to pair colors together so the piece feels unified rather than rainbow splatter painted. The opposite of this 40 horror game, which I begged Kaylee into playing. It was so scary, in fact, that my camera pooped out as soon as we tried to play. I didn't think about putting a DDR pad in this room, though looking back it probably would have made more sense than ski ball Look how cool we look playing DDR though. Not gonna lie. I forgot how much fun that game is, as well as how freaking tiring. My cop-out thought was that there's some sort of game console in here. You can play dancing, racing, and horror games like that, but you can never play skee-ball digitally. You just can't do it. Like Plants vs. Zombies, mobile game turned arcade. Digital arcade, mind you. I even made a little pea shooter figure for the top of the skee-ball game. The duck next to it is one of the prizes we could have gotten for our tickets, but didn't because I don't need a duck. Also, this little dude I'm painting might not be as creepy and out of place if I told you that it's one of the stickers Kaylee and I put on our photo strips. Because of course there was a photo strip booth, and yes, of course, we had to use it. This donut, strawberry, and green and blue pear are from the Bodo Booth. Bodo Booth? Photo Booth as well. It was an Asian style photo booth called a Puri Booth or Pur Puri booth, which had way too much cool customization. I even gave myself fabulous eyelashes. We be beautiful. We look so, so fab. I painted one of the framed posters as a full-size print of one of the pictures we took because let's be honest, in a room like this, I totally would if I could. Finally, we traded our tickets for treats. I got one of those like stick rock candy things, which I had never tried before. We did actually grab real food though. Oh yeah, I also added in some needed details with my watercolor pens. I'm seriously in love with these. I'm not sure I've said it enough. I need all the colors. I don't actually have any traditional watercolors that are that bright, but I got to hang out with some people who do later this same night at an art night party thing. <laughs> Super fun, I met this adorable pupper named Tootie. And while I was there, I actually came up with the idea to do this isometric room. Added a bit of white gouache toward the end here as per my apparently emerging style. I really actually like this piece a lot. It's different from the people and animals I usually paint and draw, but it still turned out basically the way that I pictured in my head. Bright, colorful, fun, kind of like the day that I had, just saying yes to whatever and having a good time. Thank you, Kaylee, by the way, for coming with me, and thank you, Stephanie, for hosting the art party night thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the piece. If you like it, you can buy it on Redbubble or Society6. I'll put links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.